Hello everyone and welcome back. This video is about T cell of the adaptive immune system. Somewhere in the body a virus invades. This initiates the innate immune response. The virus starts destroying healthy cells. Dendritic cells take the protein of this virus from these dying cells, process them into peptides which then binds to this MHC molecule. This peptide MHC combination is unique. We have to keep this in mind. Then these dendritic cells travel to the lymph nodes. In the lymph nodes, if the sensors on these naive T cells recognize this unique peptide MHC combination on this dendritic cell, naive T cells get activated. Once activated, the naive T cell clones itself into millions and differentiates into or changes into helper T cell and cytotoxic T cell which is also known as killer T cell. Helper T cell helps other leukocytes and white blood cells and B cell. On the other hand, cytotoxic T cell or, or killer T cell kills infected cells. These killer T cell and helper T cell now leave the lymph node and travel to carry out immune functions, various immune functions. The killer T cell when recognizes this unique peptide MHC1 complex on the infected cell, it destroys this infected cell by releasing perforin and granzymes. It might seem that the killer T cells are blind since it does not recognize the cell even if the antigen protein is present unless this antigen MHC combination is the same as presented by the dendritic cells during antigen presentation. We have talked about it before. But why are we laying so much emphasis on cytotoxic killer cells or killer T cells? Because right now all of us are suffering from SARS-CoV-2 and killer cells are the deadliest against virus. They can be highly trainable, ruthless mercenaries when it comes to war against SARS-CoV-2. A little trivia. Do you guys know that viral vectored vaccines and mRNA vaccines like Pfizer and Moderna ones they both have been found to activate cytotoxic killer cells and produce antibodies specific to spike protein. But inactivated virus type vaccines don't produce cytotoxic T cell. They produce only antibodies. For example, Sinopharm and Sinovac. And viral subunit vaccines make mainly antibodies. For example, Novavax. Okay. Let's get back again. So now the infection is over. Some long-lived memory T cells specific for this antigen will remain in the body. They become reactivated and respond much more quickly to future exposure to the same pathogen. For how long do these long-lived memory T cells stay in our body? No research has been conclusive till now. but. In the worst case, they all have given this time limit of six months. I get it that you have understood T cells are lifesaver. But who takes care of these T cells when they somehow misbehave and start attacking its own cells, own healthy cells? I know it sounds scary, but yes, sometimes these T cells become autoreactive. These killer T cells become autoreactive or self-reactive and we need some divine intervention. And that comes in form of regulatory T cells or T regs. T regs acts as an immunosuppressant and it also acts as a referee. It tells cytotoxic T cells to stop when they have destroyed the enemy. Naively speaking, Killer T cells travel with a photograph, a specific MHC1 peptide combination. 
if these killer t cells see the exact photo this killer t cell shoots the enemy period but what if somehow the enemy is able to change his face these killer t cells become useless what happens next will blow your mind let us suppose all healthy cells display unique flags and on these unique flags there is a unique code and these flags are 10 in number <laughs> please write it down the unique flags i'm talking about is mhc1 complex and the code is the peptide that is what you get after processing this spike protein in the case of coronavirus when healthy cells are infected they display these 10 unique flags with unique codes the cytotoxic killer cell which is also known as killer t cell remembers this unique flag code combination if you remember this happened during antigen presentation so this killer t cell kills this infected cell along with the virus which means no more spread of the infection but then there is one problem sometimes this virus overpowers this infected cell and this cell could not raise these flags since the killer t cell does not see any flags it doesn't do anything no that doesn't mean we are screwed because we have natural killer cells yes the ones we talked about in our innate immune system video natural killer cells realize that since this cell is showing no flags something fishy is going on there is some problem and it destroys the cell and thus ends the propagation good for us i know it's a lot to digest and i also know we have come very far we have put a lot of efforts into it and we should be rewarded the upcoming part is very important and should be dealt with care as soon as we get sars cov2 infection which causes lung tissue damage our immune system recruits monocytes macrophages and many other immune cells to release inflammatory cytokines and prime adaptive t and b cell responses come into action in majority of the cases the problem is resolved around 96% of the people they get better but in some patients the immune system goes into overdrive and leads to a cytokine storm trust me it is worse than tsunami this is what causes pneumonia and other lung inflammations this hyperinflammation causes cell infiltration or cell leakage which in turn increases the risk of secondary infection yes that's why we got to take antibiotics in such cases which otherwise doesn't make sense this cytokine storm is dealt with the most potent immunosuppressant out there for example tofacitinib which is a jak inhibitor and tocilizumab yes i i know i know i understand the consequences but do you think we have other options no we don't have suppressing the immune system is the last resort we stick to but only in this case Mm, if you love geeky stuff then I got something for you. Helper T cells are also known as CD4+ and killer T cells they are known as CD8+. If you read the literature you'll find it like almost everywhere they they explain these helper T cells and killer T cells with these names. Sorry guys uh for ending this so abruptly. but but i will make sure to make a concluding video where we cover everything from innate immune system to adaptive immune system and a lot many important trivias <laughs> stick with us thanks